one-pointed surrender cannot Until take place. One-pointed surrender. One pointed surrender. We are many pointed or one pointed? We have to check from here. Rag Bhakti starts from here. I'm one pointed or many pointed? Hmm? One pointed or many pointed? Adik Sneha or Sam Sneha? Adik Sneha or Visam Sneha is a subject for meditation. Mm. Right? One day, this subject comes to about the Manjari and Sakhi and gopis. So, some sneha means not one pointed, right? And with some sneha, only Krishna side. And Adik sneha means totally Radha. Always I am telling this by thinking that is for Gopi, Majuri and Sakhi. One time Gaurachandra is studying, same line, it come to what I am practicing. I am practicing Majuri Bhav, Gopi Bhav or Sakhi Bhav. Are, I am one pointed or not? If I am not one pointed, means uh, I am some sneha. I have many pointed. Here and there, think pong. Sometimes this and sometimes that. And I am trying to be a one pointed. How it's possible? When I will not do in my sadhan, sadhan means my physically, bodily consciousness, how I will reach to the spiritual consciousness. So one point in surrender, it's for the sadhaka who is practicing Mandiri Bhav, from this moment helps to practice. To become a dictionary. You understand? One pointed surrender, not then we are not, we will start to practicing by the river. Very, very line is very beautiful. We have to note it down in the walls, one pointed sun. <laughs> this is for my daily practice, Hanna. <laughs> Can I? I am right or not? 
Kanai is translating. Okay. Balram. Hade Rade Gurudev. Is right or not? Yes, it's very beautiful. Gauravani. Perfectly right. Oh. You have to be careful. One point is surrender. You see, deepest philosophy, all the scripture essence coming in this simple word. This is a ragamuffin. One pointed surrender cannot take place when we keep on pulling between different interests. <laughs> Similarly, this nature of the mind is not pativrta dharma, means one-pointed nature. Pativrta dharma is one-pointed, one has been. No other is coming. One pointedness is Bhakti Bhakti. Mana, the lady is totally one pointed for his husband. Right? If not, then what do you say? Are my good Many interests. Miss prostitute. <laughs> Sorry, is a very good. Is a is a written in the scripture. Prostitute is my mind. Is not a lady, a male. My mind is a prostitute. Many points. Understand? Mm -hmm. There's no, no problem to say to mind that you are prostitute. To make him one point there, yeah. I not talking. You share. I started. <laughs> I am Sri Radha's maid servant. Ah, ah, ah. This is one point. Wow, so beautiful. I don't have a relationship with anyone else. Wow. And if I have a relation, means I have a relation with Krishna. Why? I have a relation with material things. Not with Krishna. Are not cheat to others. Are creator and creation is the same. 
you say one thing, but the meaning is the same. If you with creator of creation, means you are with in his group. Not with my Swami group. You are some sneha because sometimes you say, I'm one pointed in the flow of love and the feelings, but you are not in that flow. You are trying to make such rasa also. Means you want to Krishna and Krishna material creation also you start like. Careful. I am telling for myself because I am doing mistake. I am not telling to all of you. Sometimes my mind works like a prostitute. Help me. This kind of loyalty will awaken yeah. in the heart of a pure, independent devotee. Uh -huh. It did not happen to me. So I'm always trying to take blessing from Vaishnava. This is the meaning of all of your association and mercy. Shri Raghunathas falls on the bank of Radha Kund and weeps. What to do? How to become Sri Radha Rani's beloved? What to do? How to become Sri Radharani's beloved. That must be learned from the Acharyas. Again. Sri Raghunathas falls on the bank of Radha Kund and weeps. What to do? How to become Sri Radharani's beloved? That must be learned from the Acharyas. Yeah. We have to learn with Vaishnava. This is love. This we need the mercy. from the Rasik Vaishnava. So, yeah. Tulasi is in the kingdom of Leela. Kingdom. Holding holding a cup with musk in her left hand and a brush in her right hand, she stands before Swamini. You see, one day my mind is very 
why is that? He uh, the color is in left hand and brush is in la right hand. Why? So detailed. Why? To meditate. You see that? It's mm. really color in the left hand and brush is in right hand. And how she take and put To develop, to realize this feeling, to see it. How much details you put, you start looking that, but you start looking that. Mm -hmm. Holding a cup with musk in her left hand and a brush in her right hand, she stands before Swamini wearing her leftover glistering blue sari. She's so detailed, Dr. Yu. What she is wearing and what is this leftover? So, so the vibe and feeling of Swami is there. Mercy is there. And the color is a feeling. Painters not know very well. Color is giving feeling in the pain. Right or what? Say something. You are the beautiful painter. How you give the feeling in coloring? Yes, every color is especially for some feelings. And uh, here the color is dark. Because uh, what Tulasi has in her left hand is black colored. Tulasi tiene en su mano izquierda una un color color negro. So this color is remembering her, of course, only yet. Uh, uh, and her beloved will be painted with a pencil on Swamini by Tulasi. So she is really painting the feeling on the skin of Swamini. Yeah. And Swamini will feel the touch of Mohan in this moment. She will be drawn away with her feelings. She will feel like the meeting of Mohan. Yes. And this pencil is golden because Tulasi can only get this feeling through the golden color of Swamini. Only Swamini can grant her this, that she will bring the black color on her skin. So this pencil is also very, very ornamented with nice stones. And they have also colors like dark blue, which is reminding again on the color of Mohan, and red, which is for the passion which Swamini 
fields inside for Mohan. So all these different colors are giving so many devo so many uh, feelings in the same moment. So it's a festival of feelings. Morning was love. Wow. How many color combined together? <laughs> wow. You know what you say the blue color in the Spanish Seki story. Azul. Negro. Negro also. A negro is black. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Swamini mercifully gave her the sari because she was very much satisfied with Tulasi's service. Wow. How beautiful she looks in it. Seeing Swamini's playful eyebrows and eyes, Tulasi calls her Murka Shavakshi, fawn eyed girl. She holds the cup with fragrant musk close to Swamini's nose so that she will remember Krishna's bodily fragrance. Yeah. While her eyes that extend to her ears move around restlessly, Swamini asks Tulasi, where does that fragrance come from? I understand that my Priyatam is coming. <laughs> this is the Metsaran, meaning of the Metsaran. How to make happy to the boss? How to make active? And to please her, how she can be pleased. This is the teaching of the day-to-day -day life, living life, life in material world also. Not why not you see Swami every place? In all, all circumstances. And the moment you not see, then you understand some sneha. Or with some sneha. Why other point is coming in your life? That's a prosecute, huh? Is a meaning of feelings here. Yeah. Only to understand the mind should understand this. Because mind understand on the philosophy side. Block me. Reality of Feelings not understand.
The fragrance of Krishna's body defeats that of a blue lotus flower anointed with musk. Again. Hmm. The fragrance of Mohan's body defeats that of a blue lotus flower anointed with musk. Explain this, I know understand. Gaurvani explain. So the bodily smell of Krishna, of Mohan, is full of anxiety to meet her beloved. So the smell of a blue lotus flower. Sometimes it's said wherever Radharani is looking, blue lotus flowers are coming out of the uh, ground, out of the ground. And they are spreading a very nice smell. So it's a very, very high transcendental smell, which is attracting Krishna. Mohan wants to meet her and the smell of his body is even more attractive because he's thinking about her. So it's a mixture of this blue colored lotus flowers which are in itself perfect smelling but also this uh, intense feeling of meeting her soon is mixed in it. So in this black color is also this kind of smell of Mohan who wants to meet Radharani, who is very eager to meet Radharani. And like this is the best moment when uh, Mohan is really searching for Radha. He is really, um, wie sagt man, unterworfen? Uh, he is under the spell. He really wants to meet her. So we can imagine that this, this feeling can also be smelt. So all these mixtures of feeling we have in this one pot, Tulasi is holding it before the nose of Swamini because Swamini will smell the anxiety of Mohan to meet her and this will grow her anxiety to meet him. So we can imagine what a wonderful smell this must be. This fragrance pervades all the 14 worlds and attracts everyone, yeah. blinding the eyes of the girls. Oh, Saki, Krishna's fragrance maddens the world. It enters the women's nostrils and always remains sitting there, holding them and taking them to Moham. 
It steals the bodies and minds of women and makes their noses twirl. The women of the world then become like mad women whose braids and girdles loosen of agitation. That's how high Mohan's bodily fragrance is. Srimati is agitated by smelling the musk and she shows many sweet emotions through the expressions on her face and in her eyes. Tulasi then says, Oh, fawn-eyed girl, he who becomes agitated from the smell of this musk has not come. Hearing he has not come, Swamini becomes upset. And it is as if her heart breaks. But Tulasi makes Shama appear in the form of the musk drop oh. on her chin. Yeah. So you deep. know how much you can go deep in this line. means how much you have a realization, my case of power trip. as per your stage you can feel it. Stage, a star of star. Stages, how, which stage you are, you can And deepest stage, Anandas Bhavani explained that which level you are, you will feel it nice. You know what this chin of yours is. It is the temple of Mukunda's bliss. He frees you from whatever you have. <laughs> It is the temple of Mukunda's bliss. He frees you from whatever you have. That's why he is Mukunda. Tulasi practice. Last word. Mukunda.
Radharani's chin is the temple of Mukunda's bliss. Ah. Hearing this, Swamini is overwhelmed and she sits still so that Tulasi seizes her opportunity and puts the musk drop on her chin. How wonderfully this musk drop blazes there. Like a baby black bee drinking honey from a golden lotus flower. Baby. Baby black bee drinking honey from a golden lotus flower. Understand? Baby. <laughs> together and taking hand from gold lotus club. Ah. This is the meditation in our Sarupa So and Tulasi is so expert that she knows how to make Swamini still so that she can make that musk drop on the chest. All artists are very expert. They are all the Darcy of Radha. The paints, who is the painter, who is the artist. They know the artist, topmost artist is my son. Is the artist's job to develop the feelings? An artist can develop the feelings. Who is no artist, they don't understand these feelings. Understand? So anyone is lucky who is artist, they are lucky, most lucky as well. And after that, after that you not try, then you are a crazy person. <laughs> Tulasi says, he, Mohan, is black. The drop negro, is also negro, black. black. <laughs> also Krishna, Negro. Is <laughs> <laughs> one of the name of him. <laughs> Mohan is black. The drop is also black. <laughs> now see the qualities of Negro. <laughs> <laughs> that drop has now attained its rightful place. Right place. <laughs> is it in golden? Is Negro is looking very beautiful? <laughs> Mohan will become jealous of that drop. Oh, jealous? My God. <laughs> this artist know where to put the negro. <laughs> they will never put in black to black. 
they find golden thread put the black <laughs> yeah, wow the owner of the temple will come and fade that drop out by kissing your chin. Wow. In <laughs> reality, Mohammed will come and kiss her. Then naturally, this drop it can come out. <laughs> and that's exactly what I want. Yeah. Being fully surrendered to her, the maid servants know exactly what is on Swamini's Mahabhava mind, and they serve her accordingly. To understand the mind of Swamini is the nature of the real person. That's a, if I don't understand the mind of my boss, I'm a foolish guy. I'm not a reliable person. The inter intelligent and real servant understand the mind of mind of the boss, and he fulfilled that desire to become best and to give take that, and then she, she he or she is gifted by the mercy. Hmm. It not works in. Every moment of your life. This is Prabhupada's consciousness in Krishna. Krishna conscious means if you are conscious, you are never out with divine wisdom. What is consciousness? Is your feeling make you conscious with rasa? If you are not conscious, means you are sleeping. Jiva jago, jiva jago, gaura chanta pote, sleeping. Jago means no wake up. And when you are conscious, Rasta is always with you. And right or not? Consciousness. consciousness is Radha. Who was con who is conscious all the time? Mother Jasoda are conscious. Friends are conscious, and my Swami hundred percent twenty four seven conscious. Which type of consciousness you want to follow? Which type of consciousness I want to follow? That you decide. Right? One pointed. By Swamini's grace. They know exactly what she needs. Uh. 
I call myself a maidservant, but still Swamini does not respond. As soon as my mind and my heart become qualified, she will certainly respond. Same bar, word, twelve chapter, thirteen, fourteen, Prabhupada. What is mind and my heart, my consciousness and my mind? Mm -hmm. In tuning. They are never in tuning. They are always in conflict. Watch it. Always your mind and your consciousness create conflicts. And that is the reason of inner conflict and outer conflict. What my mind wants, my consciousness is not agree, and we fight each other inside. Research it, you will find it. <laughs> so, how I read this, the words of Bhagavad Gita, you see here, because then you realize, wow, surprise happened to me. Then you go more deep to understand the meaning. Go on. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I'm crying for her day and night. Can merciful Swamini remain silent and callous although she sees all this? In Srimad Bhagavat, Sri Narayan told Durvasa uh, I want to say this something, hmm. it's something, repeat, I cannot eat, eat. I cannot I can sleep. When then little realizations come to me, then my eating and sleeping gone. Without your realization, it's not going to happen. And realization goes, I say, homework. Other ideas not touch you. Homework to do. You will feel that how you waste your time for nothing. All was like a shit. Without this, why I will leave my eating and sleeping here? <laughs> And this pain is not to give the pain. It pains come to me to remove my all problems. Honestly. To clean my dirtiness inside.
In Srimad Bhagavat, no, no, repeat this line. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I'm crying for her day and night. Can merciful Swamini remain silent and callous although she sees all this? When she sees this, that highly life is not given. She is looking, but she is saying that the moment I decide and I realize it, I clean it, but she starts looking. Because she is looking. What I am doing inside, not is doing like outside. She is watching inside even to me, which way I am moving. Where I am moving, talking, something, doing something. Huh? Yeah. Read it many times and feel it. Go on. I give you a little hint. You will give me idea to develop my mood. Here, go in. Dorakanda is doing things. So, now you say different subject. Radha. In Srimad Bhagavat, Sri Narayan told Turvasa Muni. How can I forsake my devotees who have given up their wives, homes, children, relatives, and wealth to surrender unto me? And Swamini is the embodiment of compassion. A Purusha, a man or the personality of Godhead, bestows his mercy after due consideration. But Swamini is an apara dayavati, an endlessly merciful goddess, and she bestows her mercy without any consideration. Her compassion will certainly descend when she hears a devotee anxiously praying. My heart is blinded by illusion. Please purify me and give me shelter at your lotus feet. This is why Gora is so merciful. He has accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha. Yeah. 
understand read say Is written by temple. Krishna stole, yeah. Krishna stole the moon. Written by Radhika and realized by Gorachanda. Come, come in the picture. Radhika, come here. Estonian girl, go there. Radhe, Radhe. One by one. Radhika was doing beautiful painting, a quote from Anantadas Babaji from Vilap Kusumanjali. And it is said that Krishna, he stole the mood and complexion to become Gora, from Radha to become Gora. Another. And there's a second quote. Gurudev always likes to listen. A saintly heart is a heart that is exclusively Devoted to the beloved deity. Jai Ho. If heart not become friendly, it will not accept this today. Careful. Because it's still demonian thinking are there. It's still some problems are there. It is not become saintly. He has no associate with saintly persons. His association is with demoniac. So he has no studies. Go on. Sila Raguna Das Goswami is the full receptacle of Sri Gora's grace. He cannot even swallow a little water anymore. I did not see Swamini. What is the use of staying alive? Raghunath Das Goswami wept day and night. His body and mind were burning and his body was grayed by dust. He had gone blind from fasting and
and his body that felt to him like a mere burden was burning in the fire of separation. Is burning of giving relief to him. He's so much highly my kids above Atar, high level conscious that he don't want to for the moment to leave out of her song. He stayed Astar, Astar, level of consciousness, so I did. So much connection in her dashi bhav, which is what saw me. That's the goal, that is the periyajan of our life. My burning will finish, my all suffering will go, because this will clean all my problems. When this feeling will grow in my life, mm. all will change. We are burning from material things. What is never going to give me? And this burning of Raghunath Goswami, we are still remembering him. Or, or her Sarupavi. She did not want to separate for the moment from her service. Still, some missing point is there to improve it. She she is in her Sarupa way teaching us. Yeah. Although we may repeat the words of the Acharyas, our prayers to Swamini's lotus feet must become pure. There seems to be no practice more delightful than this. No practice more delightful than what we want to enlighten ourselves. This practice is missing something. Understand? My English is not good. If any mistake, you improve me. Because something I know, understand. It's very on the point, Gurudev. You make us feel what these words mean.
those who want to make their bhajan a success must depend on this vani. Must. These must depend on this vani, these must. great words. Well, this chapter repeat many times. Many, many times. Love a sadhu sangha savasiddhi hai. These are the sadhu's word. Each syllable crystallizes one pointed loyalty to Radha's lotus feet. Each syllable, Gurudev. <laughs> My Balram. <laughs> yes, My Gurudev. Balram. Radhe, Radhe. You are there? Yes. Very beautiful, Gurudev. Yes. Enjoying. He, he is a Rasik. He is a Rasik. One day, I hope, by your blessing, Gurudev. If you say it today, one day it will become true. Tulasi lovingly makes many luscious chokes while putting the musk drop on Swamini's chin. Not adoring. What doing? Making many luscious chokes. Who can do this? <laughs> I have a two jokers out. Two jokes. Is one is Gopina. Now I understand. The jokes make you very, very close to And so that there are two <laughs> jokers there. Jokes, they will show joke in every sentence they enjoy and because they are very close in it. So always believe in the joke. How close you are you jokes. You know jokes to everyone outside. The moment you become close you joke. And some cannot understand, they become angry. <laughs> and who is close, they, are, they understand and they feel radical at that. Jokes make you more close. Thank you, Guru. So there's hope for you. <laughs> you see? 
einen heißen Landingfreund. This drop makes the natural beauty of Sri Radhika's face even more brilliant. Yeah. 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 Sri Radhika. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti writes in Krishna Paranamrita. 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 This blue drop is like the full moon rising from an ocean of sweetness. Wow. Seeing this, Mohan will consider it to be a seal declaring it to be his. And he will personally come to rejoice in experiencing its flavor again and again. Wow. Tulasi brings strong emotions into Swamini's heart that is suffering separation. Blessed is her expertise in devotional service. That is devotional service, not by Devakti. <laughs> How many memories of different pastimes? Doesn't Tulasi awaken in Swamini's heart? When she holds Swamini's chin, she suddenly doesn't get anything anymore. Why and do you hold that um, Swamini's chin? Because um, she's telling this place is the place to hold a holding place. This is the place of holding. So she hold and say, this is the place of your holding. Now you understand why she's saying this is the place of holding. Why she puts the mask? To whom to hold, this must will come and hold this place. So I'm holding to feel, give you feeling that this is the musk place to come and keep his chin in you to, and you have to hold it. And she is giving the feeling how much weight will come in this holding to you. That is the giving feeling. How much weight you have to take in the holding. So she is holding and showing her feeling. That is Manjali power. Oh. 
that is the service of God's When she holds Swamini's chin, she suddenly doesn't get anything anymore. And her heart immerses in an ocean of love in separation. Because you are relishing your manjari vow. Her heart immerses in an ocean of love in separation as she anxiously laments to whom shall i give this musk drop now Shri Haripada Sheila sings. O fawn eyed girl, O worshipper of Sri Govinda's play, when will I put a glistering musk drop on your chin? that is like a divine temple of bliss so that your face will become as beautiful as the moon with all its 16 digits. Come on, that. With the pot on left hand, in the left hand, and the brush in the right hand. Wow. This is the end of verse 39. Yeah. Always read this 39, 39. <laughs> Don't make it in the Today, small baby teacher will give answer of all questions. You can see that.
So what is this meaning? My Siddha Deha is meaning physical body is no meaning. How deep I stay there and practice this, that is the most meaning. And you start with Sambandha relation with your Ishtadev. Of the soul, not Sambandha with Ishtadev, then nothing will move. Then you realize the mercy of Gurudev, what happened in my life. Then the dar of Manjari Sarup will rise inside. When this realization of gift will come, then Manjari Sarup will come. Gurudev gave mantra, mantra test come, and Vaishnava Seva come, Sadhu Seva come. Automatic bhajan kriya start happening. All the happenings, all the circumstances is one point thing. That is a bhajan kriya. Working also. All doing, but one point at doing. Only for you doing is by them. With a saintly heart, Gurudev. With a saintly heart. We need a saintly heart. Yes, my dear. This is sad. No relationship with anyone else. No relation is also there. But relation because of you relation. Mm -hmm. You are the reason of relation. You are the boss of public things. Your relation is my relation. Huh? Your thing I have to serve. You there, every place I see you on. I cook for you, clean for you, doing everything for you. Other thing is coming, don't know one point. All right. This has to do 24 7 sadhana. You see, if only five minutes I will do one hour, it's not worth it. That is Raghavati. Raghavati goes in the not under pressure, is your feeling has to go like this. This is pressure. Right, Yes, absolutely right. I was just thinking about um, in the past. In I cannot see your face when you are talking. Yes, like yes. this. I was just thinking that uh, we say that you have to think positive, right? 
But actually what we have to do is feel positive. We have to feel it. It's not the thinking, it's the feeling. It's like when you do a seva, you feel you are doing it for Swamini. You are not yeah. doing it for your boss. You are doing it for Swamini. And this you have to feel inside. Feel it, not think it. Yes. Good one. We have to improve ourselves. Feel it. <laughs> so nice, you see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because feeling is the connection. Yeah. There is no other connection. You cannot think the connection. It's no Sambanda. Feeling. Feeling, Sambanda starts. Good, sir. Good homework today. Everyone got it. Right. This is just because you are enlightening us. It's oh, coming. You. It's Surely coming. Surely, and you all are enlightening. You I know. have to get the homework to do. And I want to see everyone. I also want to know. You got the homework. I think Kishori gave me homework to do. What to do? <laughs> I will try my help to improve. Bless me, everyone, that I can practice this in up to next week to to feel myself like this. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. We will assess tomorrow also. And escape. No, escape. There is no point to escape. Understand? <laughs>